Over the past decade, that infamous black gold has fetched between $90 to $100 a barrel. But recently, it's been bumbling along for a lot less than that. So what is the deal with the oil price? Basically, it just comes down to supply and demand. Since the United States discovered hydraulic fracking and started developing its own shale oil reserves, it stopped relying on output from the rest of the world, primarily suppliers in the Middle East. In the last six years, US domestic oil production has nearly doubled. So, Saudi, Nigerian and Algerian oil, which was once sold to the US, suddenly had to find another home. And they began to compete in Asian markets, which were already being served by other suppliers. As a result, the price fell. The thing is, the world's oil producers are actually ramping up production, rather than adjusting to all this excess supply. Canada and Iraq's exports keep rising year after year, and the Russians, who have plenty of other economic problems, keep pumping their oil into the world as well. Iran, which has vast oil reserves, has had economic sanctions forbidding it from contributing to the global market. But, as part of the nuclear deal the US signed with Iran last year, those sanctions are lifting and Iran will be yet another player in a pretty crowded oil market. One of oil's biggest consumers has been China, but that was when it was growing at over 10% a year. More recently, growth has slowed to around 6 or 7%, and the country is making an effort to not rely on fuel so much. This is not a good sign for the oil price. Also, demand from Europe and developing economies is also low, and there's been a conscious shift away from fuels towards renewable energies. Another contributor to the dive in the oil price is the unwillingness of OPEC, a cartel of oil producers, to cut production and stabilise markets. Iran, Venezuela, Ecuador and Algeria are keen for OPEC to cut production because at these low prices it's getting more expensive to produce. But Saudi Arabia, the UAE and other Gulf allies refuse. These countries rely on market share to compensate for low prices so they aren't in a hurry to relinquish any power. It doesn't look like the oil price is heading upwards anytime soon. It seems we've got more black gold than we know what to do with.